Before World War II, the United States did not let African Americans serve as pilots in military aircraft. A group known as the Tuskegee Airmen helped to end that policy. Information about uh, the pilots in, uh, in the news is, was a big secret to as far, as far as this country was concerned. Stories about the Tuskegee Airmen were a reason why Kenyatta Ruffin decided to become a pilot in the Air Force. I owe to conduct my life and to strive for excellence in the same manner that they did. After completing a study program at the Air Force Academy, Kenyatta Ruffin became a fighter pilot. He was sent to Iraq, where he got a big surprise. I landed at Balad Air Base, Iraq, and Balad was the 332nd Air Expeditionary Wing, which is a direct legacy, the same unit as the 332nd Fighter Group of the Tuskegee Airmen. Captain Kenyatta says he has been the only African-American pilot in many places where he served. In most of the units I've been in, I've been the only African-American pilot. Today, he is one of only 45 African-American fighter pilots in the Air Force, much fewer than the number who served during the Second World War. It's an atrocious stat, especially if you consider that we want to be kind of representative of the, of the society, and the black population in America is anywhere between 10 and 12 percent. Captain Ruffin does not blame racism. Uh, the issue is that there's not an exposure to it. Uh, the popular media, you're filled with basketball players, with football players, rappers, and, and you're not exposed to the likes of the Tuskegee Airmen who live their life with excellence. The Tuskegee Airmen earned those privileges, but they... At a theater in Chicago, Captain Ruffin watched the movie Red Tails, which tells the story of the Tuskegee Airmen. It is tougher to be an Air Force pilot than it is to be an Air Captain Ruffin says he remembers the words of the first African-American to be a four-star general, Daniel James Jr. He said, the power of excellence is overwhelming. It is always in demand and nobody cares about its color. And that's the truth. I'm Steve Ember.